CND's Insight and Research Unit has been described by some in industry as the number one university brand working in media research in the US today. Uh, this is partly because of the nature of our work. It is innovative and based on our own research and development here into new methods which meet the challenges of the changing media landscape. It's also because of the outputs from our research. They're deemed by those in industry as being meaningful, being relevant and, crucially, being actionable. Um, they're also, of course, based in the robustness of academic research and the, the impartiality of our agenda. Recently, some of those in industry who've come to know us well over the years visited Ball State and went on camera to comment on how they see our research and how they see it benefiting industry. There are certain things that, that industry doesn't do, either for financial reasons, for logistic reasons, or, or, or hubris. Um, and, and research is one of those things that, um, in, a, in a lot of organizations, decisions are made um, with the sort of very I'll, I'll say 20th century sort of gut reaction because I know that's what people want, man, and um, and and there's not a lot of really inf often historically not a lot of informed decision making ends up getting made that way. And I, I think the value for industry in partnering um, with an organization like Insight and Research is you know that the work is going to be done in a systematic, in a rigorous way, a way that's informed by existing research and data and methodologies that are, are uh, accepted methodologies. And then on top of all of that, the scale and scope that most organizations just simply can't do. They don't have pools that big. They don't have research equipment and researchers that have that sort of capability. Well, the research that the Insight Center does is, is far more complex than certain uh, commercial research institutions have endeavored before in media, partly because uh, people have always tried to automate the data collection process. And, um, and sometimes fail to do direct observation. And direct observation, as you know, is, is dirty work. You've got to be, with, you've got to be there 24-7. It's a very um, uh, difficult task, and not many companies can really do that effectively in the commercial world. The relationship to uh, industry and CMD is, uh, is, is self-evident in, uh, in the results that, that are both contrarian, but also um, uh, completely uh, uh, validated through rigorous uh, uh, academic research. Uh, because many times you get an opinion, but is that opinion, you know, is it stable? Is it a one-off? Uh, is it projectable? Is it facing reality? I think the marry of those two pieces, which concept development, testing of those concepts, then you, have, you actually have the capability to build and, and implement some of those concepts, I think is a hugely, uh, huge opportunity commercially for this university. Looking ahead, uh, we'll be continuing to take advantage of the experimentation that we've been doing to date and seeking to emulate the success of the observational method. Uh, we'll be experimenting in other areas that we've already begun to be active in, uh, such as the eye tracking. We'll be uh, continuing work at looking at how biometrics can be factored into uh, media research, uh, again, as the media landscape changes. Um, and we'll also be continuing to pursue opportunities for uh, appropriate levels of commercialization of the observational and other research methods that we've been developing here over the recent years.